Hello everyone and welcome to my sixth video in my beginner's tutorial series. To go, today we're gonna learn how to build our first weapon system, which will be missiles, because they are the easiest weapon to build. Weapon systems in general need ammunition, at least most of them do, ammunition or energy to fire. Missiles of course need ammunition, so you first of all have to make sure you've got some ammunition storages and I'll just place some down. So we have four cubic meters of ammunition. Then I go to the missile section in the inventory and select the missile controller because missiles are multi-block structure, as you should have learned in my first video. And yeah, for that we need the capital block first and then we connect everything else to it by using connectors in this case. And yeah, there are four different sizes of missiles. Small missiles, medium missiles, large missiles and huge missiles. We are going to configure it a small missile. There is basically no difference between the functionality of those missiles. Bigger missiles are just slower, have more HP and hit harder. There are two different versions of launches. A rail system and yeah, this completely enclosed system which is purely um, aesthetic. So we're going to use the rail on shot because there you have a better view at the missile. If you place one down and it's probably connected, you can already see those four tiny little missiles which are also already functional. Fun fact, those are interceptor missiles and will attack other missiles. Um, yeah, and if you press Q on it, you can already configure it then. This is our missile at the very left here. But we will build a longer missile, so we add more gantries. And now we have more components to work with. As I already told you, this is our missile. The thruster is at the top and the head is at the bottom. So this is up and this is down in this scenario. Yeah, the thruster is already correct. The fin right next to the thruster is a good idea. And let's add another fin to make sure that this missile can turn faster. You can see the turn right, right over here. Yeah, and if I add more fins, the turn rate increases, of course. But yeah, let's go with two fins. Okay, thruster, fins, what's next? Of course, fuel. So let's go to the fuel and control section back again and select fuel. Where is the fuel? Fuel tank over there. So if we add fuel tanks, we increased our thrust duration. You can see the thrust duration right over here. Okay, um, so this is basically the only stat on the right which is important, your thrust duration. Because depending on the size of your missile, you will have a different lifetime. A small missile has 10 seconds of a of a lifetime, at least that's default, and yeah, there isn't any use of having more fuel than uh, you can actually burn because you don't live long enough to burn that fuel. So this missile will detonate after 10 seconds. And you, yeah, you can do something about that by using the utility section, but we won't use that in this video. So one fuel tank is already enough. Then we can decide what warhead to use. And I say we just go with explosives because explosions are awesome. Okay, and last but not least, we have to select the seeker, which controls the missile. And we will just go with the active radar seeker. There are other different heads and they all have different ways of targeting the enemy, but radar seeker is easy and works in most situations. So now we have a functional missile, gentlemen. So let's load in an enemy and see how they perform. Let's go for a plane because I want to show the flaws of this missile. Where is all the planes there? Let's spawn a spiral squadron and let's see how our missile does. Ah, it's barely catching up. Actually, nearly hit the other one. Um, okay, 
So this missile definitely has some flaws. First of all, it's too slow, isn't it? So let's select a variable go to the variable thruster you have already put into your missile and increase this thrust output. Now we have a thrust duration of 4.2 seconds because we burn through our fuel faster. So let's add more fuel tanks to go to come back to about 10 seconds. Well, this looks fine to me. Furthermore, our missile was not correctly hitting the enemy plane because it was too agile. So it yeah did miss the plane. So we have to add a con control component which will predict the position of the enemy. So we have an interception course. And we, we will use the APN guidance for that. You can use APN or the prediction guidance. Just go for the APN guidance right now because yeah. If you want to know what the difference, just read, this, read, the, read the description. Okay, APN guidance. Let's see how those missiles do. Ah, they are already pre-aiming and a direct hit. And there goes the spiral. Okay. And I'm gonna show you another flaw of this missile system. Actually deleted all the crafts. <laughs> let me let me load us back in. <laughs> okay. Let me quickly rebuild it. One too long. There we go. Radar, fin fin. Um Fuel tank, fuel tank, fuel tank, um, APN, explosive, 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 explosives. That should be our missile. There we go. Okay. Um, we need one more very important component. If we have an ally somewhere around here, for example, an allied marauder. This miss, those missiles will actually go for our friend because um, yeah, um, <laughs> um, this system is missing the identify friend or foe add-on. And another nice touch to our system is the staggered fire add-on, so we can stagger our missiles a little bit, so they are less likely to get shredded by seaweeds. Now they stack. Okay, perfect. And yeah, this system is actually already finished. Um, you could do some more fancy stuff. You could give your weapon controller a weapon slot. So um, yeah, you actually have to enable that in options under config, no, under misc, right here. Allow use of five weapon slots. I don't know why that is a thing. It should be enabled by default. If I now put down a fire control computer, I can select the four in the left corner of the screen, uh, right? I can select the one and now I control every weapon which is assigned to weapon slot one. Yeah, and um, right. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you one final touch to this missile. This already works, right? But um, there's another component which you should use if your missile system is fixed and not placed on a turret. And that is the on-turn. You can find it right here under fuel and control and the on-turn, uh, the one-turn, will turn the missile into the general direction when it's fired. So uh, if you fire at the enemy, the missile will be aimed in this general direction and then the uh, seeker will engage. Okay. And this should be it. If I now Kill this marauder and make it an enemy. I can attack it with the missiles. Nice. And just to show you that the other missiles work the same. Um, 
the other sizes. I will put down a large launcher and show you another design I like to use for missiles. This is just um, a huge missile with a fin at the back, no thruster. Then <coughs> a seeker at the front, active radar seeker, and then just um, a warhead. And um, you can put a magnet. Let's put a magnet there. And let's put a magnet in there. And let's say that the magnet activates after five seconds at maximum range. So now you wonder yourself how this missile <laughs> could ever work because it has no propulsion. Yeah, I forgot to make my craft invulnerable. Um, okay. Um, let's. Um, <laughs> you wonder why this missile isn't. Um, how this missile can work? Yep, yeah, I'm gonna put ejector add-ons on the launch pad and then the missile will be ejected into the air and so it can glide into the enemy. Let's give this missile a separate, um, separate controller. I'll just delete this one and yeah, set it on weapon code, weapon slot 2. So now I can fire this missile and it will then glide down towards the enemy. And sooner or later the magnet will activate and pull the missile towards the enemy. Yeah, we can already see that. We're speeding up and hitting. And with that beautiful explosion, I say goodbye. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!